with traffic, I tell students, it doesn't stop. There's problems out there on the road today that are happening that are right now, and you say, well, let me just take a moment and think about this. You can take that moment, but that problem is still there and persisting. For me, it's an evolving and never-ending puzzle that's in real life that impacts everyone. I'm Alex Hainan. I'm an associate professor here at the University of Alabama. We're in my traffic lab, and this is actually a really exciting legacy. And there was a guy named Dan Turner, who I'm still friends with. Dan started back here in the 80s, getting everything going, building relationships with Aldot. Aldot is our most important relationship who I get to work with. It's fantastic that they're here in the building. We've got our traffic management center, our Tismo group. So that relationship had been built over the past several decades, and we've continued to do that. And this is my excitement, my passion. I love working with all this stuff. In Tuscaloosa, we have somewhere around 214 intersections. Everyone's different. Everyone has a different controller, detection, setup, configuration, phasing, whatever it may be. So it's just nonstop puzzles and challenges that run 24 seven. For me, partnering with industry, with vendors, with manufacturers on what are the latest technology and solutions that are there for, we can go out and use those then to be able to try to tackle those challenges. The story of how we originally did the university investment on connected vehicles is funny. I had started working on a very large project with LDOT and signal performance measures. And then my bosses called me into their office, my deans. They sat me down and they said, hey, it looks like stuff's going really well. Tell us what's going on. So I explained to them the project and what we were aiming for. And they asked me a question I was not ready for. They said, what can we do to help? And I sat there for a moment. I said, wow. I said, the thing that I want to see happen is to have Tuscaloosa become the connected vehicle city in this state. So they said, go and make that happen. The University of Alabama is starting a new transportation project. The University of Alabama getting millions of dollars to help drivers better navigate traffic. Dr. Alex Heenan plans to fix the problem by creating a communication network. We want to be able to have eyes on the situations to see how traffic's doing. We want to be able to manage it better. Work on the transportation project starts in three months and should be up and running in three years. Really back in the day then, there was one direction you could go with the radio manufacturer to try to deploy this. And I was never comfortable with that solution. I don't want to be crawling under people's dashboards to install some radio in their car. I looked and looked. Finally, Temple said, hey, we want you to talk with Applied Information. There's a different approach that they take that was easy to do with smartphone technology that everyone has versus the bona fide connected vehicle, whether it's DSRC or CV to X versus, hey, your smartphone's here. We've got information applications that you can have for free. That's a lot easier. And it's not just vehicles. On this campus, we also see pedestrians, bikes. One thing that I think we like to say is it's not just connected vehicles, but really the connected traveler behind it. And Applied Information has done fantastic at that. When we started talking about connected vehicle technology, Aldot's first problem they wanted to tackle was freight priority. They have several key freight corridors that are in the state, and they said, what can we use this for to improve how vehicles move about? It's giving those freight vehicles priority as they go through. We want to be able to say, hey, if this is a heavy freight vehicle that's moving at speed, for safety's sake, let's make sure they get through the intersection. For efficiency's sake, where they're not accelerating using lots of fuel, let's keep them moving. And then when we get to some of these just-in-time, just-in-sequence chains, we want to keep those working well also. There's a key just-in-time, just-in-sequence route through town here going from the west side over by the airport with ZF, going over to Mercedes. They have sub-assemblies that go over. So we've partnered with Averitt, with Mercedes, with ZF to go ahead and figure out how can we get through 26 intersections along a freeway, all in a connected vehicle environment that we can improve how things are doing. We were able to get much better information into the controller where we have a perfect run where we're able to go through the corridor without a stop. So huge improvement. We actually saw 47% improvement over base travel time. There's a paper that we published in ASCE that goes over those results and we're excited to see that. Alabama was number 50 out of 50 for bike-friendly states. We're improving though. I've gotten involved. We are very, very much trying to improve how we can detect bikes. There's been a lot of upgrades. The one that is the most exciting for me right now is trajectory control. 
traffic signal controllers, all of these behind me here, they work on binary inputs, whether there's a car or no car, channel on, channel off. When we look at some of the more advanced sensing technologies, whether it's camera, radar, or LiDAR, all of these are moving from just saying, here's a rectangle, there's something in it or there's nothing in it. Now we're getting a whole lot more information. That's exciting where I see the frontier of the industry moving, where we're gonna get vehicles on maps. It's gonna be crystal clear in real time to say, here's a queue of vehicles, what do you wanna do with this? How can we improve this and make it better for tomorrow? I think the big caveat on that is actually making sure it translates into the controllers. That's important and that's what I'm really trying to focus on. The exciting project that I've got coming forward, number one coming up is going to be our ProAct project. This is a very large ATC MTD effort that we partnered with ALDOT on. We're going to have an electric bus project on campus, an automated bus project. We've got another uh, SMART grant that we're working with City of Birmingham on transit signal priority. We do have some DOD research where we're looking at connected vehicles on military installations and how we handle and accommodate for those. And some really cool technologies that um, probably can't mention right now, but um, they'll be coming in the future. Year. Why a student should come to the University of Alabama? I think our undergraduate program is the best program in the country. It's incredible what's going on. I mean, to start to get these large grants that are just rolling in left and right now, I mean, what a blessing to see all of that happen. So a student coming here, their undergraduate experience is going to be fantastic. The research right now is just off the charts for what we're doing. You know, we're synonymous with football, obviously, so you think, well, are they actually doing anything academically? Certainly, and when folks come here and see it, I think it is quite amazing what we have going on.